I've got three Photoshop tips you probably don't know that are gonna blow your mind. I can guarantee that you don't know at least one of them. Hey, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. Today I've got three killer tips and they are gonna go down the rabbit hole, going from wow to like, really? I didn't even know that was in Photoshop. First one, I've got this composite I built in Photoshop. Look at this, lots and lots of layers. And I wanna make a duplicate of it. Like not just save a duplicate, but literally open one that I can start working on. Well, I'll show you how to do that. What you wanna do is go under window, open up the history panel. History, yep. And under history, you'll see there's an option for a snapshot or there's an option for a new document from current state. Click on that, look at that. Now we've got a new one, all the layers, everything are intact. So you could close out the other one, continue working, save it as a document. All right, tip number two. What if I just wanna make a new document out of one of these layers? So you could hide all the layers except for the one you want, save it as a copy and then revert it back. Eh, there's a much quicker way. But let me just give you an additional tip. So if I wanted to look at a layer on its own, such as one of these layers, if I right click, I can choose show hide all other layers, but this is what will happen. Now we can see the layer on its own, but watch what happens when I try to go back. Now all the layers are on, so I've forgotten which layer should be hidden and which ones should be shown. So this time, rather than doing that, hold down the Alt or the Option key, click, that will show that layer, all the other layers are hidden, hold down Alt or Option and click again and it brings it back to how it was, not forgetting any layers. That wasn't even a tip. Tip number two. Okay, so I wanna make a layer out of the original document, so why don't we just select that, turn it on, and then we're just going to right click on its name, and then we're gonna choose Duplicate Layer. Under Duplicate Layer, under Document, change it to New, click OK, and here we go, we've got a document from a new layer. All right, and here we go. Here's the third tip, which I'm pretty sure nobody knows this one because I literally was experimenting and I just kind of fell across this. So what if I wanna create a brand new document that just has some of the layers and not all of them. Okay, so let's look at these ones maybe in the woman layer. So we can select here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key and select all the layers in between and let's grab some others. I'm gonna hit the control key and select. These are layers I wanna add to my selection. So uh, let's take those in there. And why don't we grab some of these fire ones? So I've literally grabbed some layers are selected and some aren't. Watch what happens here. If we right click on the name, we're gonna create layer or duplicate layer once again. So we're gonna duplicate layers, change this to new, click okay, and boom, look at this. We literally have created a new document just from the selected layers only. So I know these tips are going to save you some time. Let me know in the comments underneath if any of these were new or how many of them were new to you. And so if at least one of these tips was new to you, do me a favor, hit that like button. It helps us with the algorithm. And by the way, if you guys love Photoshop, you've come to the right place. If you haven't yet subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any of my weekly tutorials. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.